Did you mean all in one? No, I did not. Hello guys, it's Talia. This right here is the Acer add-in one. So similar to an all-in-one desktop, you know, where the PC is integrated into the display. The add-in one instead has a tiny chrome box, the PC docked onto the back of the monitor. Added on. The huge benefit of this is that it's modular, meaning you can easily upgrade the PC when the time comes. So it's designed to be future-proof, like a regular desktop, but similar to an all-in-one, be able to fit into any space. You don't need to make room for a tower or save space by being confined to the smaller screen of a laptop, because this is all the room that it takes. It's a 24-inch IPS display with a full HD resolution. There's also the option of a touchscreen, and it comes with anti-glare coating, both of which make it really useful when you're sharing or collaborating your work with a team. This is really made for an office type of setup. And there's narrow, almost seamless bezels on the sides and the top, with the bottom bezel here housing the speakers. And the webcam has been made separate to the main display, which I like because it means the top bezel doesn't need to be chunky in order to fit in a good webcam system, which is what this has. Inside this little station here is a wide angle webcam to fit everyone into the shop, paired with dual mics. The mic situation is really interesting because it has AI noise reduction technology and a physical button to select between three different audio modes. With the AI turned off, it works like a normal mic, picking up all the noises around you. Turning the AI on means it cuts out the background noise, but it allows multiple speakers in front of the camera. And then turning the AI on private turns the mic directional, cutting out background noise like before, but only picking up the speaker directly in front of the monitor, not the people around you. And this is a big, big plus if you're working in a busy office. So that's the screen part of the added one. Now let's go to the Chrome PC. It's a little tiny box that slots into the back of the display with the option of specialized screws to lock it to the monitor. So absolutely no theft will be happening here unless someone's brave enough to just... Not that they'd get very far because there is a Kensington lock slot on the monitor too. And with these fancy custom screws comes a fancy custom screwdriver for yourself to open it up. That goes without saying, but just in case someone's like, oh, it's upgradable, but I can't get into it. Yeah, obviously you can get into it, but no one else. Our PC runs on a Chrome OS for great ease of use, quick startup times, and security you can rely on with regular updates provided by Google. And it's powered by a 12th gen Intel Core i5 processor, giving you the best of both worlds with the same power as a regular PC, but on the super fast Chrome operating system. There's 256 gigabytes of NVMe SSD, extra eMMC storage, and even 16 gigabytes of DDI4 RAM. Very nice. I feel like the Adam one has stripped back the extra bulk of a regular workstation to give you the things you need without sacrificing on performance. I like that. It also has a fantastic selection of ports. It really feels like a regular tower here. You have two HDMIs, a display port, and a micro SD card reader. There's also an audio jack, a LAN port for wired internet connection, and two USB 4 Gen Cs, great for fast data transfers or connecting to a 4K display, just in case one monitor is not enough. What I like here is that you get the complete package. You get a monitor, Chromebox PC, with a keyboard and mouse. So that's a whole office setup for under 600 pounds. And it's really foolproof to set up and use. You just slide the PC into the back of the monitor, power that on, power the monitor on, and connect the display to the PC. For me, I think an interesting use for this would be to have the Chromebox at your office or workplace, work away, and then should you need to carry on into the evening, slide the PC out and then take it home with you, plug it into your home monitor, if you're allowed to do that. And I know I said earlier, oh, it has custom screws to lock it in place, but you don't actually need to screw it in. It still clicks into the monitor, so if you don't screw it in, then taking this out of the monitor is very easy, you just pop it out. Don't worry, I already know you were thinking that, but I got you. But let me know what you think of the add-in one down below, because I think it's a great option for someone who's looking for a fast, capable, and future-proof workstation. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.